Former National MP, do you know who he is? Well, his name's Aaron Gilmore and he's rung into the platform. Aaron, how are you, mate? Good morning, Sean. How are you doing? Good. You must be you must be reliving some trauma this morning. Uh, I wouldn't say that, Sean. But first of all, look, I, I'm, I'm glad to hear you're he- well and healthy and well and the great New Zealand health system has been... Um, yeah, it has. It's been very um, kind to me. Yes, yeah, mm. very good. And, and I haven't seen you walking around the uh, great streets of uh, our wonderful suburb recently. But anyway, yeah. look, I, I, saw, I saw this article and I thought, look, first of all, the irony of uh, um, uh, what's been published from the Wellington Mayor, I just couldn't believe uh, my eyes when a friend of mine sent it through this morning. Uh, and he put forward that you'd been talking about this issue, so I thought I'd give you a quick call. And it's particularly uh, amusing because you may recall, um, Sean, this whole issue arose from an interview that you did with somebody at that time. So uh, it, it's the way the world... Oh, did I, did I expose the do you know who I am thing? You did. You did. Oh, good Lord. And there is, a, there is still a video footage of you interviewing somebody on that issue. And uh, look, I never said, did, did you, um, do you know who I am? Don't you know who I am? Never said it. Never said words to that effect. Ne- well, okay. Then how did that... Then I've done become, you a gross disservice. I, look, I wouldn't say that, Sean. Some would say you did me a gross service. Of, like, you know, um, any exposure is good exposure, someone once said. But look... Yeah. Uh, what did you say okay. then, Aaron? Look, all I, it's a very long, complicated sort of scenario. What I had a discussion with was I gave a barman my business card and I said there was been a misunderstanding over a payment for a bottle of wine and I said I'd sort it out in the morning because I was staying in my room and he wanted my business card to prove that I was staying in the hotel. And you said, don't you know who I am? No, no, no. no. I said, here's my card. I'll sort it out in the morning. Don't yeah. worry about a thing. Um, I, don't, I didn't know my room number because I didn't have my room key because I hadn't yeah. actually checked in. And then the next day... Well, it might have been two days later. You had an interview with a, um, a gentleman called Mr. Ritchie's um, in your former yep. career. <laughs> and uh, you put words into his mouth. And it's actually on film. You actually, the full footage looked at it. And you said that. And as a result, my, my face and my name went on everything from t shirts to hoodies to, uh, to um, being accused of All right. the most hated man in New Zealand. Well, I didn't. But that's put, okay. That's I haven't okay. been I'm involved on, in this story, uh, Aaron. Yeah, absolutely. Yep, yeah, but, absolutely. But so because of, music. well, even if you didn't do something, you know the consequences of Look, Tory, <laughs> some scumbag Tory, journalism Tory. saying you did say, don't you know yep. who I am? Yeah. Kiwis Look, Tory, don't Tory's like it. on record. Yeah. No. Look, Tory's on record of, of when the mayoral campaign was on, I was running around uh, and she was acting in a certain way and it turned out that she now believes that it's like a four-day-a-week job, it seems, and she shouldn't have to work certain evenings. She comes around and making statements about other people which doesn't seem like the same thing given back to her in return. If she wants to act like a 40 thing year old woman who wants to go out and have a party, that's completely fine. You've still got to do your job and you've still got to operate within the rules. And if you're a politician in this day and age and you're running around doing what has been alleged in the media today, that's not appropriate for a mayor. All right. Um, you reckon she should resign? No, look, I mean, that's probably a step too far, but she, she at least apologise to the public of New Zealand, uh, or Wellington, sorry, yeah. and then come back and, and work through a situation of going... Look, if she, if she spent her time apologising to Wellingtonians for doing dumb stuff, she wouldn't get anything done, anything else done in her <laughs> life, Aaron, to be honest. There was a f- famous speech that I did, Sean, when I left Parliament, that I said, if I spent my time apologising for things I was doing, I had done wrong, I'd be there for days. OK, um, now, so someone's it's, just it's not, in a text... Wow, wait, Sean, you were the bully. Aaron, I can't remember putting no, words in anyone's mouth. No, no, look, Sean, I, I, I don't hold a grudge. Um, and, uh, look, life, life moves in mysterious and furious ways. Yeah. I, and, look, it was you. <laughs> Sean was not a bully. But, you know, you, did, you were doing your job at the time. And I have no no, yeah, no okay. about that what's the time. Yep. All right. But, well, but, I yes, lo- yes. look, it's a long way down the track. If I did do that, I'm sorry. Oh, we'll... we'll I absolutely appreciate it and respect it. We'll sit and have a cup of coffee some stage in the future, Sean, when you have more time. All right, Aaron. Hey, thank you for ringing, and that's hilarious. Um, and yeah. nice to know lots of people listening. Aaron Gilmore. Aaron, I never said, do you know who I am, Gilmore? Um, that is uh, <laughs> former National MP rings in. As Tory Fardo, I think, is is <laughs> got a couple, tough couple of days ahead of her. By the way, if you don't know who she is, Tori Fano is the Mayor of Wellington. Interestingly enough, she's also James Shaw's former Chief of Staff and a great friend, a great friend and associate of Andrew Campbell, who is the Prime Minister's Chief of Staff and was Jacinda Ardern's Chief of Staff. There's a little inner cabal of wokesters. 
and Tory Farnell is most definitely one of them.